Hello, uh, this is going to be a follow-up and check that bad boy out there. Yeah, that's not a 49. Um, right, so, uh, where to start? Um, the Gigabyte card went back um, because I thought the fan had basically fried itself. Um, so that went back under the 30 days uh, warranty to a company called CCL. Um, the intention being that it, obviously when it gets back to them they'll see it, obviously smell it as well and it would just be gone through and sent back to the manufacturers and a, a refund would be given. Um, because I was under this impression I actually got the MSI Supreme card and that one uh, which I wasn't overly happy with because of the, the um, a few bits and pieces but I could, I could definitely live with that one. Um, but. Uh, when I was waiting for the, the refund to come through from CCL, um, it took a little bit longer than I was thinking. And so when I got in touch with them, it uh, turns out that the card, they had the intentions of sending it back to the manufacturer. Um, and then if they deem that it is uh, something that's gone wrong with the card, uh, they'll then give us the refund. They also informed me that it wasn't the fan. Um, I'll get to that bit in a minute because this this is something which is um, a bit concerning and a bit worrying. But anyway, um, I've had to send the MSI card back uh, within the, the two weeks because if something goes wrong on the Gigabyte side, I'm going to be left with two cards. Um, so to cover myself, I've sent the MSI card back until I figure out and hear back from uh, Gigabyte and refund sorted and everything else. I'm not going to take the chance. Right, um, when CCL got the Gigabyte card, Obviously, they put on their workbench, turned it on, worked fine. Um, now, they got in touch with me and said the card's up and running, works fine. And I said, well, if, if you smell the card, you can actually smell it's been burning. And there's no way I can take that back because it's, um, it's a safety hazard. Um, after the conversation, uh, they said they'll try it again. Um, and the next thing I heard back from them was the fact that uh, they found a burn mark on the PCB. Uh, I was quite surprised because I actually thought it was the fan that was uh, burning, uh, but there's something on the, the PCB and for it to be burning like that, it's going to be something which obviously conducts um, the power, the electricity, so it may be one of the phases, I'm not entirely sure. Um, they've now told me that's going to go back to Gigabyte and if they say yes, it's on the card and it's uh, a fault of the card, not something which I've done, I understand it, they've got to make sure that it's not something which I've been messing about with or doing something I shouldn't be doing. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't want to take the risk of Gigabyte messing up or after hearing a lot of feedback from uh, people about Gigabyte, uh, I'm not left in the, um, with a lot of hope that um, they were going to give uh, the kind of answer that I want straight away. Uh, it might uh, drag on or it might be done there and then, I don't know. But I didn't want to take the risk of being stuck with the MSI card and the Gigabyte card. Um, but one of the things which was, was uh, a little bit concerning is when I actually speaking to CCL, uh, one of the tech guys, um, he was saying, I was saying, well, he said there was nothing wrong with it. And I said, well, if, if you literally take the shroud off or just open the card up, you'll probably be able to smell the burning better or you might even see where the burning is. And he was saying, well, we're not allowed to do that. We don't have the resources to do that. With something like that, it has to go back to the manufacturer. Uh, now, CCL might not be the only company to do that. It could be pretty much every other company that you send something back in this kind of case. Um, but my concern, not just from that company, but all the other companies, is if you're sending something back and you've seen smoke or something's been burning and they put it on a test bench and it turns on. Now, if they let it run for an hour or two hours, whatever it is, depending on how much time they give these things, and it works fine, and they deem that as being okay and just send it back to the customer, there's nothing to say that after four hours use, six hours use, a day, a month, a year's use, the issue that you had, which caused the burn in the first time, comes back and it's worse and it ends up causing a fire. Um, that is a bit concerning because to me, if, if I was returning any product and it smelled of burning or a customer said it, if it's burning, I think that should be deemed straight away that it needs to go back to the manufacturer. Not a case of we stuck it up, we put it on the test bench and give it a try or anything like that. Um, because just because it doesn't do it there in that few minutes, an hour, or a couple of hours worth of testing, doesn't mean that it's not going to do it. And it's not something where something stops and starts, stops and starts. We're talking about something which is on burning. Um, now, 
There's nothing to say that uh, people sending back PSUs and other, obviously, components, that if somebody's out of the room or they've left their PC on while they're at work or something, it, it's downloading something, updates, whatever, um, that component could literally start a fire in the machine. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure how much of a, uh, of a PC is what you would deem as flammable, but it would certainly... Uh, depending on what you're sitting on and how bad the fire got, set fire to carpets or um, anything that's close by. Um, so to me, I, I I'm not happy with any company um, that would take something that smelled of smoke or someone's claimed to seen uh, sparks flying or flames coming from it. To me, that should just go straight back to the the manufacturer um, because, like I say they could put it on their test bench and get the same result and see it and go, yeah, the customer's right. There is, that's a fire issue. Something's not right. Um, but how many cases around the world where people have put these on test benches and go, no, nah, I can't see anything wrong with that. Just send it back to the customer. And then obviously it's gone on to cause something worse, whether it just be uh, damaging other components in the machine or actually causing a house fire. Um, that was something which I found a bit surprising that um, something which involves... Uh, obviously a lot of power going through it uh, these new GPUs um, and it smells of burning um, that that to me is uh, an instant return back to manufacturer um, now like I can say I mean I think depending on the size of the business you're sending it to they only have so many obviously staff and they only have so much time to do certain things but um, it might even be that whatever company MSI is, is whatever they say, look, you can't open our cards. The only people who can open our cards is us. I don't know. Um, but I, like I say, anything like that should go back um, and it shouldn't be returned to a customer if they've complained about smoke and fire and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I now have to wait until uh, Gigabyte get the card, um, say, yes, uh, there's a burn thing on it, and then they do the... Uh, authorize CCL to do the refund and then I have to get another 4090 um, yeah at this point I'm actually figuring out that uh, I'm gonna bring a priest into the house and we're going to do some kind of uh, exorcism because there seems to be some kind of uh, poltergeist stuff going on with um, this bad luck with the, the whole 4090 thing and so it's um, well considering it's, it's actually getting some views with some of these videos um, it seems to be uh, entertaining some folk um, it's just not entertaining me um, so yeah uh, it might be a bit quiet on my side until I hear back from um, Gigabyte on CCL as to uh, what the next step is and then uh, another card so yeah it's going to be 2023, probably before I get a 4090, and uh, this is finished. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to the 5090s. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Bye.